At a first glance, some would assume that just because something has the word pro slapped into the title means it's a better version of its cheaper and more basic counterpart. But is that really the case for two of Ace's latest mid-range devices? Is getting the cheaper phone more economically sound for you? Or is the more expensive but nonetheless upgraded version of the Z4 Selfie series more practical? Hey guys, this is Liz from ManilaShaker.com and today we'll be finding out which between the two phones from Ace's Selfie series is a more preferable choice. The Z4 Selfie and Z4 Selfie Pro both come in 5.5 inch Corning Gorilla Glass displays, but that's where the similarities end. The more basic Z4 Selfie comes with a 1080 by 720 resolution IPS HD LCD display, while the Z4 Selfie Pro has more HD on its system thanks to its 1920 by 1080 Super AMOLED resolution display. Even if you put them side by side, the lack of HD in the Z4 Selfie's display is pretty noticeable compared to its upgraded counterpart, which means there's no competition in this round. So I'd have to give this to the Selfie Pro. For starters, the Z4 Selfie and Z4 Selfie Pro look extremely similar to each other, except for the placement of the dual cameras to help you distinguish the difference between the two. On the upper half of the Z4 Selfie are the two dual cameras on the left corner of the panel while the sensor is on the right. On the Z4 Selfie Pro, however, the positions are reversed with the dual cameras found on the right side and the sensor on the left. Their LED flashes, however, are both found on the upper right side of the phone. At the bottom half of both phones are the three non-capacitive buttons, namely the back button on the left side and the overview button on the right, with the large home button on the center, which also acts as the fingerprint scanner. The back and overview buttons on either side of the Selfie Pro's home button are backlit and only appear when you boot the phone, while the Z4 Selfie's keys at the bottom panel are already etched onto the phone. At the back casing of both the Z4 Selfie and the Z4 Selfie Pro sits the 16 megapixel rear camera with a flash on the left side. The only other identifying trait that distinguishes both selfie phones from each other is the Asus logo engraved at the back of both phones. The Z4 Selfie's logo is carved, while the logo on the Z4 Selfie Pro is painted as part of the design. In terms of specs, the Z4 Selfie is just a gram lighter than the 145 gram Z4 Selfie Pro. However, However, the lighter Z4 Selfie is thicker at 7.9mm, which balances out the 7mm Z4 Selfie Pro. Although both have really good designs for mid-range phones, the Selfie Pro looks and feels more gorgeous between the two when you hold them side by side. The thinness of the Selfie Pro, combined with a higher quality display, makes it feel more like a premium phone between the two, so again, I'd have to give this round to the Selfie Pro. Both Z4 Selfie devices have 16 megapixel rear cameras with dual LED flash, except the Z4 Selfie's rear camera has an f2.0 aperture, while the Z4 Selfie Pro's rear camera is equipped with an f2.2 aperture, making the Pro version a more ideal camera for low light photography between the two. Their front cameras, however, differ in terms of specs. With a 20 megapixel dual lens front camera and an f2.0 aperture, the Z4 Selfie compensates for the lower aperture on its rear camera with a higher front camera aperture rate than the Z4 Selfie Pro's 24 megapixel dual lens front facing camera with an f1.8 aperture rate. As a result, this gives the Z4 Selfie an advantage when it comes to taking low lit selfie photos. Like the rest of Asus Zenfone 4 series, both selfie phones are also capable of taking wide photos with their dual lens front cameras and rear cameras. As a gimmicky feature, they even have adjustable beauty filters, which can also be applied when taking live photos on YouTube or Instagram using Asus pre-installed Beauty Live app. It makes both selfie phones ideal for folks who like taking photos, which is what Asus has been targeting in the first place. With great camera specs on paper, both Z4 selfie phones give you the option to take great photos in their own right. But despite the lower rear camera specs, I noticed that the colors found in the photos taken using the Z4 selfie pop up slightly more than the Pro version. 
Although the Z4 Selfie Pro takes better rear camera photos in low-lit conditions, I find that any phone that has enough aperture to help you with your low-lit selfies and wifis would merit you this round. After all, this is a battle between selfie phones, right? In this aspect, I'd have to give this to the more basic selfie phone. Based on benchmarking results, both the Z4 Selfie and Selfie Pro scored exactly the same in Antutu. Surprisingly, the Z4 Selfie's Geekbench single core and PC mark results are higher than the Z4 Selfie Pro's numbers by a few digits, which indicates that the Zenfone 4 Selfie can perform better and handle multitasking more than its more pro sibling. Both selfie phones work well in the sense that they respond well to the simplest swipes and taps without lags, but in terms of benchmarking performance overall, the Z4 Selfie takes the cake. Both the Z4 Selfie and Z4 Selfie Pro are powered by non-removable 3000 mAh batteries, a pretty small but decent amount for mid-range phones. So after conducting tests, our Manila Shaker battery rating confirms that despite the similar battery power, the Z4 Selfie can last up to 34 hours and 24 minutes, beating the Z4 Selfie Pro's record of 32 hours and 56 minutes. With this, the Zenfone 4 Selfie also takes this round. Both the Z4 Selfie and Z4 Selfie Pro have speakers at the bottom half of their bodies. They have the same level of audio and the speakers at maximum volume are not exactly spectacular. Though I did notice that the Z4 Selfie Pro slightly sounds louder compared to its cheaper counterpart. The placement of the audio speakers means accepting calls from noisy environments might be a bit difficult for some, but although the Z4 Selfie Pro has the slightly upper hand, I think it still remains just as subpar as its more basic sibling, so really nobody wins this round. Both the Z4 Selfie and Z4 Selfie Pro come in 64GB worth of storage memory with 4GB of RAM. The Z4 Selfie, however, can have its memory expanded up to 2TB through a microSD card, which is higher than what the Z4 Selfie Pro has to offer at 256GB of expandable memory, again through a microSD card. No doubt, the Z4 Selfie wins this round. Ultimately, both of Asus' mid-range phones shine in their own right and bring out what they intended to do with each phone. There's no doubt that the Z4 Selfie Pro has the better design and higher specs on paper, and in terms of rear camera photography, it shines better than its cheaper counterpart. But based on what we've observed while covering this comparison, the Zenfone 4 Selfie performs better. It's ultimately up to you, but from what we've experienced so far, there's no doubt that getting the cheaper selfie phone would also deliver just as much as its pro version. And with that, thanks to a 4-2 score, the Asus Zenfone 4 Selfie wins this comparison. The Asus Zenfone 4 Selfie and Asus Zenfone 4 Selfie Pro are now available in official Asus stores along with other local and online kiosks. The Z4 Selfie costs 13,995 pesos, while the Z4 Selfie Pro costs 18,995 pesos. Once again, this is Liz signing off. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button below, subscribe, and go check out our other reviews.